you can always see Lee searching for himself in the work. And it's clear that he has a completely unique way of looking at the world. Lee Friedlander's groundbreaking photography became widely known after it appeared in a landmark exhibition at New York's Museum of Modern Art in 1967. The show was called New Documents and also featured photographers Diane Arbus and Gary Winogrand. New Documents identified a radical new direction, pictures that looked like snapshots. It was hard to even categorize what they were about. In the wall text, the museum's curator, John Sarkowski, suggested that the aim of documentary photography had been to provide proof or documentation of a specific subject. This show signaled a change. No definitive documentary subject could be identified in any of the works shown, and critics were skeptical. In fact, new documents showcased photography as poetry. A photograph as a form of expression as potent and meaningful as any work of art. And hidden within his dynamic handheld compositions were self-portraits, Easter eggs. The work is filled with contradiction, humorous one moment, poignant the next. Lee's work has been honored with the MacArthur Fellowship and shown at or is in the collections of significant institutions such as the Museum of Modern Art, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Whitney Museum of American Art, the Art Institute of Chicago, the list goes on. But before all that began, Lee was here at Art Center. How fortunate we are to honor Art Center alum Lee Friedlander, whose work is a testament to Art Center's mantra, learn to create, influence change. Lee Friedlander, Lifetime Achievement, 2020.